Hi guys, welcome back to Flippin' Windows, and for the first time viewers, welcome. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and subscribe. This is going to be the overview of the Windows Technical Preview, and these are the early builds of what it's going to be like for May or June of next year, 2015. This overview is just going to be based off of the Start menu, just doing a little overview on each feature one by one for the video playlist that I'll plan on having out. Remember, this is the early views and early builds, so a lot of things can change over the months, especially back in April 2015 when they are going to be updating this build. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you guys can see, the start orb, as you guys are familiar with, with that Windows 8.1, is still the same. As you hover over it, it glides. And But when you click on it, when you first install this, if you get that opportunity, which you will, because I will be giving you guys a link, this is what you guys get. You get a start menu, similar to what Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, and also previous builds at one point had. Here is a bunch of things that you guys have options to click on um, by default. And over here to the right, you guys have the live tiles from the Windows 8 start screen. Like you guys have heard in previous news, the tiles act and behave just like they would have in the start screen. You can also click on them and they will open in a windowed mode. If I were to go and click on network speed test by opening up, it'll open up in a window mode. Um, by clicking out of that right there, going back into the start menu, there's a bunch of things that you can do with each tile. You can unpin it from the start, and you can also pin it to the taskbar like so. It'll be dropped right here. And also, you can uninstall it just by clicking right here instead of going to the control panel. You can also resize it from uh, small, medium to wide, and also turn off the live tile notifications. Now, if you did set your new PC or your new account to act and behave with all the settings from your previous Windows build, you can and will get all your applications kind of pre-installed. So all you have to do is when you get over to your start menu, you will see all your apps that you had in your previous computer and they will be ready to install. What you can do if you don't want to install them just yet, you can have a couple options. You can pin it to the start and you can do it like that. And if you do decide to go ahead and install it, just go ahead and click on it and it'll say pending. And once that happens, it'll start to download and install and you will have the app to open from here or from here. Another thing that you can do with the app right here you can pin it to the start and if you don't want to install it from right here you have the option to go ahead and install it just by clicking right here or anywhere on the tile and it'll start to install by itself do remember all the ones that do have a notification with install they do require a network to go ahead and install they're not pre-installed as in they're already there they're just ready to be set up so overall, if you just want to, you can go ahead and scroll down to all your previous used apps. Also, you do have folders like Administrative Tools, Windows Accessories, Windows Ease of Access, and Windows System. By default, you can add more folders as you do install programs. Also, it'll have a drop down to where it'll expand by default, and you guys can see everything that you guys want to click on. Clicking that folder again, it will shrink. Another thing that you guys may not have heard is that the fact that you can resize the start menu by uh, shrinking it up or down as far as you want you can make it look like that you can go as high as you want and uh, that's pretty much what it can do for you as you resize and add tiles the start menu will go ahead and so for example if I were to go ahead and fill all this up to the max capacity it'll continue to go ahead and grow so if you guys understand that, that's going to be perfect for you for the ones that do want the only apps that they use pinned to the start menu. Now you guys may have heard that you have the option to go ahead and either get the start menu or the start screen and that actually is true and those that do want the start screen you can access it by changing the settings either by right clicking on the start menu anywhere, going to properties, it'll take you to the taskbar and start menu properties, going over to the start menu and unchecking here where it says use the start menu instead of the start screen by unchecking that it'll get you back to the start screen that you are familiar with with Windows 8.1 let's go ahead and do a test and see what it looks like by clicking that pressing apply it'll ask you to sign out and change your settings let's go ahead and do that um, into the lock screen let's go ahead and get back into our computer by logging in and right when we see it we will be taken to the desktop because we have our settings set for the login into the desktop rather than the start screen. By pressing the Windows key on your keyboard or right here, you will be taken back to the original start screen that you are familiar with currently for Windows 8.1. 
and for right now it currently acts and behaves like Windows 8.1 however that can change and you can still do the same task and the same everything as you would like by resizing and whatnot. For example just like Windows 8.1 clicking into the desktop will take you to the desktop and clicking the Windows orb will take you back to the start screen. Yeah, so right back into the start menu, as you guys can see, you can actually organize your icons and your programs any way that you want. All you have to do is just click and hold down and drag them anywhere you want. And if you can see, they are being dragged to a certain location that you will place. One other thing I forgot to mention is if you don't want to go ahead and right click and pin to start one of the apps, all you have to do is just drag it by clicking and holding down and placing it anywhere that you would like. One feature that you would see on Windows 8.1 start screen is you can multi-select an app and another app and drag them across the start screen. However, you can't. And even if you do press control and click another one, it'll just click onto the next app. Also, one last setting for one of the apps, if it does have an extended tab, is if you hover over it, it will drop down another tab to where it'll show you your recent items that you have used from the previous program. For example, File Explorer, you can go ahead and tab that. And if you back out of it by hovering somewhere else, the start will go ahead and reappear. So that's it for the start screen features for the Windows Technical Preview build, aka Windows 10. If you guys want another video on some of the other features for this preview, let's go ahead and stay subscribed and I'll go ahead and show you another video. Alright guys, until next time, see you later.